Hi, I'm Fred Minnick, and I am a whiskey critic and a big McRib fan. I've always been a big McRib fan, and when I learned that that the McRib is coming back out in uh, December 2nd uh, nationally for the first time since 2012, it's always been in kind of like regional markets and you know, kind of hit and miss. This is the first time it's going to be out nationally since 2012. I had to do everything that I could to get a McRib early, eat it, and pair it with some whiskey. And one of the things that, the reason why the McRib is so special to me, and really 2020 has been this awful year. Like we've all got our stories. We've all, we've all probably known someone who's died of the virus. And this has just been a horrible year. And so I've been doing a lot of reflecting on on my life and the friendships that I've made. That's the one thing I've done in 2020 that I can say has definitely helped me as, as a person. And to me, the McRib always reminds me of my Grandpa Frank. Now, Grandpa Frank, honestly, was a horrible father to my dad and his siblings, horrible. He left them at a very young age and did not come back into their life until they were had their own kids. And it was the actions that he took during his second act that really, to me, is the Grandpa Frank I will always remember. And as his kids would always remember and eventually forgive him and the best memory i have with my grandpa frank was in an oklahoma city mcdonald's he got me a mcrib and we just talked about baseball and and football and just what was what life was like for for me as a 12 year old and so when i think of the mcrib i'm always just reminded of that one great moment that i had with my grandfather now, he passed away a few years ago, so I didn't get to have many of those moments with him. And as I grew older and he grew older, we never really got close, but we always had that one incredible memory. And of course, when as a whiskey critic, I have this fascination with pairing whiskeys to foods. And so kind of in that same you know mindset of, of, of memories and things that are important to me, I'm going to pair it to what won the world's best whiskey in 2017. This is the Whistle Pig uh, Boss Hog, the Black Prince. The creator of this was a good friend of mine named Dave Pickerel. And he was actually also a fan of McDonald's. In fact, he would make these uh, egg sandwiches uh, for breakfast. He called them the, uh, the McPickerels. And we lost Dave uh, a couple years ago. And this was, I believe, the, the greatest thing that he ever put on the shelf. Also, it happens to be a pig. So I'm going to be pairing a pig with a pig. And so that, I'd also like to say that, you know, this, this pairing, this tasting, this combo of these two great things for me personally, you know, this is a shout out to um, all the great memories that we've made with people who are no longer with us. And if you'd like to put them in, put your memory of somebody uh, of your McRib experience in the comment section. And let's all make some new memories together. I'm going to, as you can see, I wear an ascot and uh, I got myself a protector here. You know, this is one of my best ascots, so I can't, uh, actually, I've spilled barbecue sauce on it before. But listen, I'm gonna be eating the McRib. I need to have the McBib. This is that's what I'm talking about. So I'm going to pour myself. First, I'm going to taste the whiskey. You know, get, I mean, that thing is, I always talk about Whistle Pigs, uh, Boss Hog, these, these pewter corks that they have, these toppers. They're so heavy. They're so heavy. So a little Boss Hog there. Now first, I'm going to, this, again, this won uh, World's Best Whiskey at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition in 2017. And I actually think this will go really, really well with the McRib. Oh, yeah. Mm. Spicy. All right, here we go. Take a look at that. Look at that big, beautiful McRib. Just, oh. Uh, th that's the part I love right there. That little bit of onions kind of hanging off the side. The sauce just dripping on down. 
That pork is just money. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. You know, I'm gonna have to do that again. So this is 119.2 proof, and that heat just cut straight through that sauce. Just cut straight through it. And I gotta, I need to, need to taste it one more time to see if I want to cut it with some water. Hmm. It's just so good. I am a sucker for the McRib. There we go. So the key to this pig on pig pairing is not to not to take a normal size drink because if you get too much of that proof it just cuts through it, but just a sip of it, just a sip of it with the with a little bit of the McRib still in there just fits perfectly. Now I'm, uh, now that I kind of have like the idea of like the amount of the McRib um, I want on there, now I'm going to take a look at the um, what it's like after I've swallowed the McRib, after I've had a little bit, and see if the flavors of the McRib still hold up to the Black Prince. Mmm. Got the pickle action in there. The famous McDonald's pickle. Hmm. Wow. So that's the best pairing experience so far. Chew up, chew on that McRib. Get those flavors all around there swallow it and then bring in a little whiskey now what I'm going to do I'm going to pair it to something that's probably a little bit more accessible in the market because you cannot find that if you even if you wanted to so everybody everybody knows uh, about Maker's Mark Maker's Mark is a very accessible oh we got a McRib down and the McRib just knocked down the whiskey. That just happened. So now I'm going to pair it to the uh, Maker's Mark. That was an expensive glass of whiskey to lose there. I don't think um, I don't think this McRib here appreciated that pairing as much. So here we go. I'm going to I'm going to see what it's like with some Maker's Mark. I can't believe I just lost a glass of whiskey that was that expensive. And here I am going to do go in all over again. Maybe I should do a fresh McRib. Maybe that's what's going on here. That McRib up here said, listen, you want to get a new whiskey? You need a new McRib. So here we go. That's definitely. Mm. So I bought, I bought four of these in advance. They go national December second, but 
I called up a buddy of mine, Paul Blackburn, who knows everybody in this community. And uh, he, he connected with me, connected me with the Kentucky uh, operator. I was able to buy four of these in advance. I have to say, the maker's pairing is a little bit more on point than the whis the best whiskey of 2017. Probably because uh, the Black Prince is just a little too complicated. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. So hands down, the Maker's Mark is a better pairing, also more affordable. So I've I've now tasted the I've now tasted the Maker's Mark, and I'm gonna go back and do the whistle pick again. So it could be a little bit of an element of my my palate's warming up, but um, I do I do think that the Maker's Mark is the better pairing. Well, the whiskey overpowers the McRib, so I know I know Dave's probably looking down from above, looking at this, just laughing his ass off at me for uh, for getting you know McRib juices all over my face and sipping on Black Prince, and um, you know the reason why I picked Maker's Mark is that Dave also used to be the master distiller for for Maker's Mark, so both of these products up here are very close to uh, Dave Pickerel's heart. And um, as I kind of close on this, I will say that the, the Maker's Mark and the McRib are a perfect pairing. If you are so lucky to be able to get a, a McRib, I highly recommend pairing it with, with a Maker's Mark. And like I said, if you've got a, a great McRib story, if you got a great memory, share it in the comments section because those memories need to live on and that's what food and drink is all about it's all about sharing with people you love and it's definitely about having good times so i appreciate you uh you know sitting here and watching a, a 42 year old man man stuff his face with the mcrib and washing it down with some good whiskey i just want to say a, a big toast to you and your family this holiday season and i hope you're able to get a mcrib wherever you are. Cheers. Mm. Damn, that's good. Vodka sucks.